and welcome back to another episode of Bake Me Up Buttercup. I'm quite excited about today's bake as it combines two incredibly delicious ingredients. We will be making a decadent chocolate peanut butter swirl brownie. Oh my gracious! This deceptively simple recipe is sure to delight, so let's hop to it. First off, we will start by making the chocolate batter. To begin, you will need one quarter cup of unsalted butter and one ounce of unsweetened chocolate. These will need to be melted together. You can melt them over a stove top if you are careful. However, I will be using my microwave today. Start by placing them in a microwave safe container and you're going to heat this for 30 seconds. If they are not completely melted, continue heating in 15 second intervals until melted, then whisk to combine. Please be very careful with this step as your mixture can get quite hot. Next, you will add in one half cup of sugar, one egg, and one half teaspoon of vanilla. and you're going to whisk this together until well blended. Now sift in one half cup of flour and a pinch of salt. And we're going to gently mix until just combined. And as a finishing touch, I like to add one quarter cup of peanut butter chips. Now we will set that batter aside and start working on the peanut butter batter. In a separate bowl, whisk together one quarter cup of melted butter with one half cup of light brown sugar. Add in one egg, one quarter teaspoon vanilla extract, and one quarter cup peanut butter. Oh gosh, I do love peanut butter. But no, no, I must wait. I must resist. It'll be so much more satisfying to eat this all together. All right, we'll mix this together until they're well combined. Oh, that smells delightful. Once these are well combined, sift in one half cup of flour a pinch of salt. Get out of there. And just as before, stir until just combined. Takes a bit of elbow grease. Now to stir in one quarter cup of chocolate chips. Personally, I like to use a bittersweet chocolate, but you can use semi-sweet if you'd like. All right, it's time to assemble our brownies. You will need an eight by eight inch baking dish that has been greased well. To this, we're gonna add about half of the chocolate batter and spread it in the pan. Now add a little bit more than half of the peanut butter batter, followed by the remaining chocolate batter. Add the remaining peanut butter batter in dollops over the top. Now we want to create a nice marbled effect. To do this, take a butter knife 
and gently swirl it through the mixture, just like this. Oh, wow! Doesn't that look lovely? For one last finishing touch, I like to add just a few more chocolate and peanut butter chips over top. And now your brownies are ready for the oven! Bake your brownies at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 25 to 30 minutes, or until a toothpick inserted into the middle comes out with just a few moist crumbs attached. Allow them to cool for at least 30 minutes, and then cut them into squares. Oh my goodness, don't these look absolutely heavenly? The perfect balance of rich chocolate and delightful peanut butter? What more could you possibly ask for? Gosh, I just can't resist. I have got to try one right now. Oh, mm. oh it's wonderful. So delicious, so peanut buttery, so chocolatey. Wait. Oh no. Oh dear me. I just remembered. I'm a dog. Chocolate has poisoned the dogs. Somebody call an ambulance. Oh. Oh, I'm okay. I'm okay. Just a few days at the vet and I'm good as new. Woo. Well, for all about you out there who are not dogs, I hope you give this recipe a try and tell me what you think. Share a photo on social media with the tag Bake Me Up Buttercup. I would love to see. And of course, hit that like button and subscribe for more fun baking adventures. I also have an exciting announcement. Next month, my alter ego, Lelia Spaniel, has been invited as a guest at Multiverse Convention which means I get to tag along too. Hooray! Multiverse is a brand new science fiction and fantasy convention in Atlanta, Georgia. And by the looks of it, it is gonna be absolutely fantastic. I will be assisting with several costuming and furry related panels throughout the weekend. I am so excited. Please go check it out. I will share a link to their website as well as my event schedule in the description below. Until next time, 